Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And I'm smiling ear to ear because I'm so excited to share this product with you guys. And today I'm going to share a product with you guys from a company by the name of Vizio. Uh, so I first want to start off by saying thank you, Vizio, for your generosity in sending me this soundbar for the purposes of review. Uh, this was provided free by Vizio in exchange for your review. Now, I want you to know something straight off the bat, and I have to say this, that when I receive a product for review, you have to take it upon my honesty that I'm going to be completely transparent in what I think of the product. And I know it's kind of difficult sometimes because when you receive something for free, naturally you want to give a good product. Well, this was a no-brainer for me because, and as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I'm always flat out honest with you guys. So I knew this was exciting because I knew that this soundbar that they sent me was going to be exceptional because I already reviewed a Vizio soundbar that I purchased on my own dime. And I was so ecstatic by that. Vizio had seen that review. They saw my passion for their product and they were nice enough to send me this uh, for free for review. So the soundbar we're going to talk about today is Dolby or is uh, Vizio's brand new line of soundbars and that's their Dolby Atmos soundbars. Um, I don't know if this is going to replace their current lineup, but if it does, um, you know, it does. And, and, and I think if it does, it's definitely a great addition to their, to their products. Um, so, what is Dolby Atmos? In a nutshell, I'm going to give you just a real basic explanation of it. Uh, you can look up all the information online if you want all the technical specs. Dolby Atmos is basically adding a soundstage above you to gain more height to your, uh, to your surround sound. When you listen to a 5.1 system now, which still sounds great, you're basically hearing, if you hear a plane coming at you from the right of you and flying over the top to the left, let's say diagonally, you're going to hear it coming at you from the right, then you're going to hear it coming from fading off from the left. Well, you don't actually hear it in, the tra in a system like that as if it sounds in real life. In real life, you hear it going above you. So what Dolby Atmos does, it puts ceilings, in, uh, speakers in the ceilings to give you uh, more headroom and more of a height to your audio. And that's what this device does here. What Vizio has done is that they've integrated upward firing speakers that fire off at a diagonal up toward the ceiling and bounce down to the listener. Now placement on this is extremely important. And one thing I love about Vizio products is that they always include everything you need to set it up. You don't have to go out and buy cables. You don't, you're not gonna get home and be like, oh man, I just got my sound bar. Now I gotta run out and buy something else. Everything is included from the template to mount it on the wall if you choose to do so, to the optical cable, the HDMI, depending on your the way you need to set it up, you're going to have a cable to make this work. Um, this particular one comes with a rear subwoofer and wired rear, uh, rear surround speakers, which is great because when I tested a couple sound bars before I settled on Vizio, they didn't have the rear surrounds. And really having those extra rear surround speakers gives your, your sound, just a, it, it just gives it a lot more uh, realism, you know. Uh, without having that, you just have a front sound stage, it's like you're watching a TV. Um, so a little bit more about the product, what's included in the package, you get the sound bar, you get a remote control, and you can look at all this stuff online, of course. You get, of course, uh, two rear speakers and the subwoofer, and again, all the cabling and templates. Um, so what they've done is you have a left speaker, a center speaker, and a right speaker. Then you have your two upward firing speakers, your two rears, and then your subwoofer. Um, so one thing I was skeptical when I got it, they changed the design of their subwoofer and their old subwoofers were a flat panel speaker. You could put it under a couch um, and that wasn't really a concern for me because I had plenty of room to put it wherever, you know, wherever I want. And the corner is optimum. But they changed it and it was so much smaller. I was like, gosh, I hope this has the base that the other one had. Because I tell you, of all the soundbars I've heard, Vizio, they really have fine-tuned their subwoofer. I mean, they really have that thing tuned, I would say, probably down to around 32 hertz. It just plays deep and has a rumble that I haven't been able to hear in a lot of sound bars out there or a lot of sound systems. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so they knock it out of the park with that. And like I said, when I tested other sound bars before selling the Vizio, I just, uh, once I got the Vizio one hooked it up, I was just blown away. So I knew that this was gonna sound phenomenal. And again, my only concern was that subwoofer and upon firing it up, all that, all that worry went away, and they really have duplicated exactly what the other ones sound like in a smaller, a smaller, I guess, enclosure, and it just has that rumble you don't get out of a lot of other systems. So that's really it in a nutshell what it does. Again, left, right, center channel, upward firing speakers, off the ceiling and down. Um, now one thing when you get this, there is a, and I wanna let you guys know, the proper installation is key on this here because in order for you to actually experience these top firing speakers, you can't have it too high to the TV. 
And what they do is they give you a, a in the instructions, I encourage you to read those. It'll tell you, it'll ask, basically you, you look at the graph, how far your TV is off the wall. It'll tell you how far the sound bar has to be from your TV to have those speakers be able to not be obstructed by the TV protruding out. The closer it is to the wall, the closer the sound bar can be to the TV. So you can see mine sticks out probably about four inches. So I have, I believe it was about four or five inches uh, from the top of the TV is what they recommended. But definitely check the manual, it'll give you all the information you need. As um, far as the controls in this here, on top of the sound bar, you have your, your power button, volume up and down, input button, and of course on the remote, you can control everything, each and every speaker, and this is what I love about the Vizio sound bars, you can control the volume of each and every speaker. So if you want to turn up the left or the right, you want to balance it out, you want to turn up the, the center channel, the rears, the subwoofer, you have all that control. Um, and again, if you opt to not use the, the Dolby Atmos speakers on this here, you can actually turn them off, but I don't see the point in doing that. You want to have those on, it sounds exceptional. And I gotta tell you, I, again, I was skeptical, is this gonna really sound much better than my other one? And it does, it just, it just, you have a fullness with the sound that I just didn't get with the other one. You won't really know until you listen to this one versus the other one uh, that there is an improvement being made. Now, a lot of times when you have a, you know, Dolby Atmos is relatively new and to get that sound, you do have to run an HDMI cable using ARC. So an optical cable won't work for that. But if you're limited and you want to buy a sound bar, maybe you have an older TV or whatnot and you can't use that, you could still get a simulated Dolby Atmos sound. The speakers will still be on, giving you kind of that fullness that you're going to get uh, even without actually having a Dolby Atmos encoded uh, DVD or media. Uh, so as far as the sound bar, they changed it a little bit here. Again, this is the 35 inch version. You have kind of a grill cloth they've used instead of the plastic. Uh, definitely protrudes out from the wall further than the other sound bar that I have. And of course you have these stainless steel or aluminum it looks like end caps with the Vizio logo. Uh, Bluetooth enabled, so if you want to use your phone to stream music to it, you can. And Chromecast and Wi-Fi enabled. So if you're unfamiliar with Chromecast, my gosh, do your work, do your homework, check it out. It allows you to cast media from your phone, music. Um, I can actually sync up in a group every speaker in my house with the Chromecast and play audio everywhere. Uh, a lot of times lately, I've been now that I have the old, uh, the other soundbar in the bedroom. I have this soundbar downstairs. I can have both those soundbars playing the same audio track, uh, whether it be YouTube or whatever, Pandora, at the same time. So it gets music throughout the whole house. The bass is there, it rumbles, it sounds great, and it really is a no-brainer if you're in the market for a soundbar. I'd say in the, I'm not sure the pricing on this yet, but uh, my old, the other soundbar was about $300, $400. This is probably going to be in the city about $300 to $600. Um, if you're interested in the longer version, the 45-inch version, that's uh, got slightly more bells and whistles. There's actually up-firing speakers on the rear surround as well. I haven't really done a lot of research on that one yet. Uh, why would I have to? This thing is just it's just awesome. Uh, and that's really about it in a nutshell. Uh, the thing is fantastic. And before we close in the video, I just want to go ahead and once again thank Vizio uh, for their generosity in sponsoring this video and sending me a soundbar free for review. Uh, again, I knew I was going to love it and it's a great addition. I had my folks over the other night and they were just blown away how great it sounded. And what's awesome, it's almost getting to the point with the technology that you almost don't need a 5.1 like speaker system anymore. They sound so good with the way they process the sound and fire the, the audio out of the different speakers. I mean, it just, it really blows me away because I've always been set and solid on a, on a you know, floor standing speakers. And as time goes on, you see less and less of that and the audio just sounds great. You really don't need much more. So let me just go ahead and show you here what it looks like. So naturally, there it is underneath the TV. I'll give you a side shot of those aluminum end caps right there. Got that grill cloth right across. And you can see I used kind of a, uh, you could actually, if you want to, I have it wall mounted and it's all powered from behind the TV, but you could actually use something different. I just use a piece of, uh, it's like a stick on, I got it at Lowe's. It's like a stick on piece of wire loom that you just pop the cable in through there. And I had a piece left over, I used that. I just, I just painted right over the wire and of course over that cap. So you barely even see it at a distance. Uh, you can see your buttons on top of the sound bar right there. Uh, you got your power, looks like input, Bluetooth, and volume up or down. And of course, when you do turn it on, I'll go ahead and turn it on there, there is Vizio integrates uh, these LEDs in the side here. This will show you your volume. And if you look at the manual, every one of these LEDs that lights up has a different meaning. So I'm not going to go through all that, but you can definitely check it out in the manual. I love the fact that they have a visual way of knowing, you know, whether you're a soundbar, like right now you see that blue light, that means we're connected to Wi-Fi. So just fantastic. Um, as far as the remote, that's what the remote looks like here. Got a small LC, sort of an LC or 
think it's an LCD screen on top there, showing you the uh, different functions there, menu, you can see subwoofer control, uh, really easy to see, control everything right from here. Um, in this case, I've mounted, and again, my audio systems are like hidden. And so in the, bo the bottom here, or behind the couch, it's gonna be pretty hard to see, but there is the subwoofer. Again, I'll put links where you can check out all this stuff um, on the website. I know you really can't see it that well there, but I'm not gonna drag it out from there just to show you that because uh, you can, like I said, I'll put links to the pictures on the website where you see exactly what it looks like. And really what's most important with this is the way it sounds and me telling you how great this thing is. Uh, what I did here, this is their rear surrounds. And so I have these, they come with the wall mounting brackets as well. Got that similar aluminum side, and of course that speaker grill right on top. And I have them tucked away, hidden behind the curtain here, so that sound comes right out. And then I have the other one kind of back behind the tree. You don't even know they're there. When you look at this room, it's like all you see is TV and soundbar and nothing else. But when the system comes alive, you're blown away. You're like, where are all the speakers? So that's what I like about a system. I like. I like to have it, I like it to sound amazing, but not be so in your face. And that's what I love about the Visa products. They're classy looking, they look good, they sound good, and it really this is a no-brainer. I mean, if you're in the market for any of this stuff, I mean, really. Uh, there's not really any other brand I would buy besides Vizio uh, when it comes to audio or video. It just They just give you so much bang for your buck. All right, folks, well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos about this particular product. You guys know one thing I like to do is anytime I get a product, I like to come back, re-review it after six months, and just keep the content fresh, tell you guys, am I still loving it? Uh, you know, did anything go wrong with it? And I mean, like I said, my, my first Vizio TV that I, I had, I bought back in 2006, I believe, and I just sold it two years ago for 200 bucks. It was an old plasma, and it still worked fine. I just wanted to get something a little bit bigger. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching the channel. Subscribe, click the link, check this soundbar out, uh, if, if, you know, I'm not sure who's going to be carrying this. I'm sure probably Best Buy and places like that. Go check it out. Listen to it. But remember, the best way to really test out any kind of audio equipment like that is to really bring it home. And, you know, with the return policy in a lot of places, um, it's just, you know, it's just good to be able to get it in your home, check it out, listen to it, and make sure it's something you're going to love. I can guarantee you that in this price point, you're not going to find anything that sounds this phenomenal. So... Uh, it's a no-brainer. I'll, I'll probably never buy another brand soundbar but Vizio. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, definitely let me know what you guys think if you pick one of these up. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm always here to help you guys. And once again, have a wonderful day, folks. Take care.